we're going to be connecting some down lights here that I have paired to my wireless power pack. And we're going to be connecting it to a wireless sensor. This is a battery powered wireless sensor, as well as a wireless switch, again, battery powered. And again, to do this programming, we're going to be using our Clarity Pro app. So go ahead and sign in, navigate to the site overview screen, select your site, and let's begin by selecting groups, hitting the plus icon, and naming our new group. Tap create and then tap devices to get you to the grid where you can add devices. Hit the plus icon in the lower left corner, select outputs, and there you can see our RPP20, allowing you again to tap identify and let those fixtures flash to make sure that we've got the right ones. Tap the blue arrow on the right, tap the grid to place it. Once that security exchange completes, we can move on to adding our next devices. So tap the plus icon in the lower left corner. This time select sensors. Now we're gonna add this battery powered sensor, but it is asleep. To wake it up, we're gonna tap this little button next to the lens twice. So you tap that twice, shows up on our list. Again, allowing you to identify. When you tap identify, it's gonna blink the LED behind the lens. Select, the, select it by tapping the blue arrow place it on the grid, again, waiting for the security exchange, and then we'll move on to our last piece, which is the switch. So tap the plus icon in the lower left corner, tap switches, and again, to wake this switch up, we just tap any button once, and we can add this device. Tap the blue arrow, place it on our grid, and once that completes, we'll have all these devices grouped and paired together Tap done in the upper right corner. And we're on to our last step, behavior zones. As I mentioned before, there's lots of different options you can choose here. In this example, we're gonna choose one of the behavior zone templates. And this is a very quick and easy way to get all these devices programmed together. So here we're gonna select the auto on behavior zone, hit the plus add button. That will add all of those programming settings that you can see there. Simply tap the save button in the upper right corner. It now connects to these devices, pairs them, sends them those settings, and once it completes, allows us to have control over those devices. It's that easy. To learn more about our Enlight solution, visit us at enlightcontrols.com.